How you doing, folks? Um, so, what's today's video about? Okay. Well, we're, we lived in the van for the two weeks. And the van would have been, um, you know, a lot of getting in and getting out. It was very wet, the weather in Munich. And um, just generally speaking, the, the upholstery in the van is a kind of light, a light color. And the carpet up around the front part is very light as well. And they have a tendency to show up marks fairly easy. And the material that the the material that the seat cover is made of is is water stains really, really easily. So the first time I went out to clean it, I thought I could just give it a rub with a bit of a cloth and stuff like that. But actually that makes things worse. And what you have to do is you have to clean you have to clean the seat cover, the seat covers completely um, in one go, and then that way then you tend not to end up with any kind of water stain. So that's what I'm gonna do today. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna declutter the van because the van has just gotten so cluttered over the last little while. I've just so much crap in it. It's just, it was a nightmare away in Munich. I need to declutter the van, take a lot of crap out that we're not using. And then give it a good clean after using it so much for the last two weeks. And um, so I'm just gonna show you, I have a few bits and pieces today just to show you what I'm gonna use. And then what I'll do is I'll stick some footage in of what, this, what the carpets look like now and what the seat covers look like now and the general condition of the van. And then what I'll do then is I'll take some footage maybe of me cleaning the van and then I'll show you the uh, finished result hopefully when the seats all dry out. So first things first, okay. So what have we got? Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out with our vacuum cleaner and I'm gonna give the van a good hoovering that'll you know lighten the load of any kind of dust and dirt. The next thing then what I'll do is I'll get out and after I've done that I'll polish the van down, I'll give it a good rub down everywhere inside, give it a clean. And then I have our Karcher pressure uh, steamer. So great little piece of kit. You know, you just load it, I think it's about a litre of water, I'll have to remind myself, and then what happens then is you get, it generates steam, and you just basically rub this on the, on the fabric, and what it does is it lifts up any dirt, and it does a good job, you know, it, it's not like, you, the, the fabric will be wet, but it won't be completely saturated, and it dries off fairly well, it has various settings here for various steam levels, and you can lock it as well. So that's that, so that, that's really it, vacuum, polish, clean the carpets, clean the seats, declutter the van in some kind of order, probably that kind of order. And um, and like I said, what I'll do is when I have it all done, I'll show you what it looks like. So here you can see, basically the boot was just, we just abandoned the boot, and it was abandoned ship when we got home. So we just effectively just dumped everything into the boot. I would keep it a little bit tighter than this normally, but uh, this is just to show you how bad it looked. This is the, the stairwell as you get into the van you can see that it's it's fairly fairly dirty as you'd expect a lot of people getting in and out and here you can see the seat is showing various stains and water stains and marks this is just a close-up again just to show you water stains are real pain in the neck and this is just another angle looking at the same thing so with some stains and water stains and then this stain here so this is just basically hand marks getting in and out with sun creams and so on this is just a view of the foot rest you see, you can see this, the carpet's pretty badly stained. And this is the mat that came from VW. Again, stained, but protected by a, a black mat that I put in. This is the armrest, and the armrest naturally would get fairly grubby. Um, a lot of wear and tear there, high wear area. And then this is just the mattress for the lower bed. So it picks up lots of stains because basically throwing stuff in and out of the boot and um hopping in and out and when you sleep on the bed you could you see that you get lots of stains and marks and then i suppose it's just a lad sleeping on it and food and all sorts of stuff and um, so this is just another view of the stains that you can see so water marks and so on from like the lad spilling drinks on it and so on this is just some footage of me using the steamer here so just trying to clean the carpet as much as possible and what the steamer does basically is it heats up the dirt and loosens it and then the towel would uh, lift the dirt. So I find it very good for cleaning the mats and so on. Uh, here I am cleaning the chair. Uh, it doesn't overly wet the, uh, the seats so what it does is it dries out quicker. But you basically have to cover it. You have to clean the whole surface in one go or you do end up with water stains. So just looking at the results, quickly I would say that the, the carpet responded well, but because of the amount of dirt in it, uh, the steam will only do so much. So I did use the cleaner here as well, but uh, 
probably a professional clean is probably what's needed i thought the armrests come up quite well quite well the material lends itself to steaming and cleaning so uh, they do a good job there the the door well cleaned up fairly uh, very good and the rail uh, it looks brand new once it was finished as well which is the steamer is very good at and then the back seat so it's a bit mixed it cleans certain areas very well um so you can see here i'm looking at, at the corner which is a kind of high wear high traffic area and then you can see this part was heavily stained earlier so you can see the stains are gone but there's residual watermarks which drive me absolutely mental um so you can see now here i i can see the water stain here is very visible where obviously when i was cleaning it i wasn't uh, evenly spreading the water which means what i'll have effectively have to do is retake uh sorry redo the seat I thought the back of the seat responded very well and I didn't show the mattress but the mattress cleaned up very well as well also um, and you can so this is just some image of me with the mattress and uh, the job that I did tidying up the back seat at the back area and then a little bit I did a little bit of a tidy up on the inside so I decluttered all these drawers and these are the boxes that I'd mentioned in a previous video that I put in so you can see here just help organizing and then some boxes underneath the uh, the, the rear seat and then some boxes in the fridge and these all go towards helping just really keep the van organized so i thought it was an okay um so probably needed more chemicals the next time around so there you go so thanks for watching i hope you find it of use bye